How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome to Trailer Park Boys Greasy Money. I've been hung over as fuck all day and so what better way to just feel greasy and self-loathing than by playing a game about about a bunch of shitheads who are just a bunch of greaseballs. I, I can relate with them right now. I don't know anything about this game, I just randomly saw it, got excited, I love the Trailer Park Boys. I guess you play through the seasons? Season 1, the economy is fucked. Welcome to Trailer Park Boys, greasy money. Oh shit, conky, ugh. You're even creepier as a as a puppet than you are as like as a, a drawn puppet than as a physical puppet. I'm Conky. I'm gonna teach you how to play this fucking game. <laughs> Looks like these idiots got out of jail today, but they don't know how fucked things really are. It's fucking awesome to be home from jail. Did you read the news, Ricky? The Canadian economy is fucked. The loon is in a flaming fucking nosedive. I don't remember how the fuck does bubble sound. <laughs> And our country's a laughing stock because of you. Well, it isn't sexy Julian, his little pal Bubbles, and Ricky the shit weasel. Fuck off, Leahy. I've got a present for you. A fine for hitting that investor with a jug of piss. Shit, Leahy, get to the point. How much? A hundred dollars. Ha! That's fucking nothing. That's 100 US dollars. We are fucked, boys. <laughs> you know, how are we supposed to make 100 American dollars? It's definitely not, I'm not gonna commit to that. My, I feel way too shitty to attempt to try and do voices right now. Just taking that out right, right at the top here. That's like a majillion in Canadian dollars. We'll never make that much. It's not fucking rocket appliances, Bubbles. All we have to do is borrow some gas from those cars and sell it. Oh, this game just seems like it's gonna be fucking fantastic. The writing is just identical to the show, and you're just doing a bunch of greasy shit like they do on the show. This is gonna be, like, perfect for fans. New goal, build Ricky's used gas. <laughs> you gotta build a shitty place to sell your new used gas. <laughs> the idea of used gas is just hilarious. Ah, cool, I, I set up shop. And now, is this my customer? Ooh, collect some coin. You got $20 cash. Someone bought 20 bucks of used gas already? Step right up, get your gently used gasoline here. Just leave your money, take what you pay for, and I'm gonna go get fucking wasted. You're not going anywhere. Just shut up and keep collecting that cash. Oh, so I, I, maybe this game isn't exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It's like the type of game where you're kind of on a timer, you're just sitting around waiting for things to generate money. I hope there's more to the game than this. I think I heard that there's like boss battles incorporated into this and stuff like that. So the game isn't strictly just clicking on things when they give you money. Goal complete, you got $50 cash. Okay, now what? We need more customers. How the fuck do we get those? Advertising, you gotta spend money to make money. No, you get money and you keep money. That's how you make money. Just always, just such a genius, just a, a, such a forward-thinking man, Ricky, always planning for the future. Just gotta get more customers in here. I'm just, I'm just buying customers? They're expensive. Ricky is totally fucking wrong as usual. The more you spend, the more you make. Spend cash to attract more customers. Customers will increase the profit of business. So I'm gonna, am I gonna get 15 every time I collect from here? Is that how that works? Okay, fair enough. And I'm gonna buy more customers. Get the, get that money flowing. Oh, that's the goal anyway. I'm supposed to be buying a bunch more. <laughs> 69. I should just stop buying them now. You get 10 hash coins? Hash coins are definitely not a season one thing, but that's super fucking hilarious that they made it into the game. All right, we're off to a good start, but we need to diversify. What's the one commodity that's 100% recession proof? What are you doing using your big school words? Just use normal people words and I'll understand what you're saying. 
Ricky's talking about entertainment. Gentlemen's entertainment. Exactly. It's time to get the dirty dancer up and running again. Dee he he sent. I wish I could do I wish I could do the uh, I wish I could do that one properly. But I feel like being Canadian and this being a Canadian show, the way that they they specifically say like we are fucked and just fuck boys. There's something there's just something particular about the way Canadians really force out the fuck that I think uh I think I'll be able to do well, even though if I can't do even though I can't do any of the other impressions or anything like that. Let's get that dirty dancer built. Oh, I'm I'm a ways away from being able to afford it, but I'm actually going to start making money fairly quickly at this point. I'm going to jack up as many customers as I can in this thing so that I just make an absurd amount of money off of my gas. This is a brilliant business. Who would have thought used gas would be such a hot commodity in Sunnyvale, a tiny little trailer park? Yeah, we got the dirty dancer up and running. I want to I want to hang out with more characters. Presumably more characters from the show are going to be in this, like Trevor and Corey maybe. Randy, we haven't even seen Randy. Perfect. Now I can collect money from both of these. Holy fuck, boys. Look at all this cash. This must be enough to pay that stupid fuckity head Leahy. <laughs> I just checked him, we're not even fucking close. Ricky, you've really fucked up Canada. Just keep stealing gas and selling bootleg liquor. Eyes on the prize, boys. How are you gonna dance around this one, Julian? Dirtily. Dirtily. Profit! Keep buying customers and collecting cash to make greasy money. New goal, get a hundred total customers. Oh, well, I've been kind of doing that like crazy anyways. Oh shit, it costs a lot to buy new customers for, for the Dirty Dancer, but it starts making a shitload more money with each new one you buy. Yeah, that's it adds an absurd amount, but I might as well invest it over in the, or buy it over at the gas station where they go for a hell of a lot cheaper. This is just easily more money than these guys have ever made. They never come anywhere close to this. Ricky will get like five grand and he'll be like, I'm fucking retiring, boys. I'll be watching you like a shithawk, Ricky. Don't you have some offs to fuck, Leahy? I'm the Sunnyvale Trailer Park Supervisor. At the first sight of shit, I'm going to swoop down and rip you apart with my shit talons. For fuck's sake, are you back on the liquor again, Leahy? I am the liquor. That's always like, that's like my favorite fucking line from the entire show. Collect cash to get 25k. That's a dickload of money. That never is a thing in this game. What is, uh, what the hell did I just do? Oh, I see. So it just lets me buy like a shitload of things at once. That makes it a little bit easier, especially if you were actually on a phone, like, tapping away at it. That, that that might get super fucking annoying, so this is probably better. God damn. Oh shit, I really racked up the Dirty Dancer here. I make so much money now, but I wonder what this is worth in American dollars. Maybe I, I'm up to, like, a buck? <laughs> okay, we finally got enough cash for that bullshit fine. Now let's come up with some stupid way to use the money instead, so that we're, we'll still be fucked. Let's send that drunk idiot Leahy back to fuck off at land. Ooh, boss fight. I get to make it to a boss fight. I guess I guess I get to brawl with Leahy? Pro tip, upgrade characters for more fuck off power. So you can just tell people to fuck off more aggressively. But I'll bring season one to an end. Oh yeah, we've got the fucking a bazillion dollars here. Ricky, that's not a real number. Whatever, we've got enough for that fucking fine. Poor sexy Julian. There never was a fine. What the fuck are you talking about, Leahy? I know you shit clowns couldn't make any money without breaking the law, so I've been filming you committing your shit crimes. And Officer George Green was very interested in the footage. That's supposed to be George? Oh yeah, it totally looks like him. At first it didn't, but uh, I think I was thinking of the wrong character. You have the right to remain silent, boys. You set us up, Leahy, you asshole. I can't go to jail. Who will look after my kitties? Oh, that's really sad. That's like a very legitimate concern. Oh, what a surprise. Those idiots end up back in jail every season. 
But if you tap like fucking crazy, you can get some extra rewards. So you can still go to jail, but you're gonna like get a little bit on your way out. Tap as fast as you can to fill the fuck off meter and win some extra prizes. I, I, I do like the, the sounds of a fuck off meter. Did it freeze or something though? I actually can't get past this screen now. Oh, there we go. I just had to restart it. Now it looks like it's it's fine now. <laughs> They're just all fighting with their their fingers out in different ways. Oh shit! I'm gonna miss my opportunity here. You're <laughs> just firing off the bird as aggressively as possible. Hey, I filled up the thing. Oh my fucking god! This is like the eighth time in a row this is frozen on me. The thing froze on me like a hundred fucking times, so I'm just gonna go find someone else who's played the game so I can kind of find out where things go after that. Busted bonus. Big deal. Jail is awesome anyway. You won a police car? And also like a card or something? Just get to pop open the car. Ooh, and you you receive liquor. So now we got hash coins and liquor. Oh, and the season's complete. Now the boys could start up their their intramural jail hockey league that always looks super fun. And then season two, fuck community college. Let's get drunk and break into cars. <laughs> I think I think I'm only gonna play the one season. Uh, I I really I, I'm surprised that this game has an end game. It doesn't seem like it's just about collecting, like firing it up once every now and again, make sure you collect the different things. A common complaint I've seen is that you could only play the game now and again, I think, because it starts having features that need to run through their time and everything like that. I looked ahead a little bit, there is a store, you can go and unlock new equipment and new characters, and they can help run your business. The game might not seem particularly fun or exciting, but just the idea of playing through the different seasons, seeing these dumbass characters, seems like it could be a lot of fun. It's a free game, so it might be something fun to mess around with if you're a fan of the series. Otherwise, I really don't think it's gonna be for everyone. I was planning to play a little bit longer, but if the game's gonna fuck around with me, then it can just fuck off, I guess. I'll just, in the spirit of the Trailer Park Boys, the game can fuck right off. It's probably the program that I use to play these sort of games. It's, I don't know, it's, maybe it's what's having issues. I don't want to specifically blame the game for being jinky, I think that might be a little unfair. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe let me know if you're interested, let me know if you enjoy the Trailer Park Boys. I'll see you guys again soon.